Happy Thanksgiving Eve, everyone. I am trying to pull out my camera as much as possible. It's just been crazy busy here. I'm still up, it's pretty late. And I wanted to show you a family recipe. I just started opening the cans of ambrosia salad. So I figured I would bring you on to show you what my family loves. Mandarin oranges. Uh, it's supposed to be two cans. I usually do between um, two, no, I usually do between three and four cans. I drain as much liquid off as possible. So I'm to four. I got on the camera. So three cans of mandarin oranges, drains. Two cans of brew cocktail. Drained. You will get some liquid, obviously, but that's okay. This is the second can of brew cocktail. I'm trying to open it Let's see. Pull it back some more. Got one thing, um, which I will save till the end. Okay, which I'm talking about cherries. So usually, guys, pretty big bowl. Um, three cans of mandarin oranges, two cans of fruit cocktail, or one big can of fruit cocktail, and one can of crushed pineapples drained. And then I have another container but there's a little bit in here so I'm going to use it up usually it equals out to 16 ounces Let's see if this will work 16 ounces of sour cream so I had a little bit left over from some things I was making and baking today This is obviously bigger, 16 ounce. So I've made this so many times I can just eyeball it. And believe it or not, this fruit salad goes very quickly. It's like when I make it, you gotta get it or somebody else will. So I'm just eyeballing about 16 ounces, which I think that's good right there. Let me throw this in the trash. And then what's next is you just basically stir all the ingredients together. Well, mix the sour cream in. It's gonna sound weird. Probably looks gross, but trust me, it all comes together. It will be amazing. And I do always add an extra jar of cherries because obviously a fruit cocktail you don't really get enough so let me grab the cherries and I'll bring it right back I usually always try to get the cherries with no stem on it because if not it's just another tedious project I'm hoping they're stemless so let me sit you guys right here why I drain the juice off of the cherries. I love these. This jar is a 16 ounce jar. Basically, you just drop a whole 16 ounce jar of stemless marchino cherries, drain the liquid off, mix it in, and then next. 
is going to be you need one tub um let's see how many ounces 16 ounce i think it is just trying to get the plastic off mm -mm -mm. now it doesn't want to come off okay let me grab a knife cut a slit into this plastic there we go so i can actually get into it so one container cool whip of your choice we are going to dump the whole container in there and scrape it all out first the cool whip and you basically just start incorporating the cool whip into this and then we will be adding the marshmallows giving it a stir and then you want to keep this in the fridge or someone somewhere really cold and believe it or not it the marshmallows suck up all the juices it's just so yummy and yeah, usually everyone fights for this in my house. So I'm trying to stir this up with one hand so we don't get a clump of Cool Whip. So you keep it in a cold place and it literally will rise and just be so decadent out of some cans of fruit. So I'm going to cut the bag. I use mini marshmallows. I just had a knife. I did a lot of work all day today and tonight. And I'm almost there so that I don't have to do a lot come tomorrow. So, we are just, let me sit you there for a second, guys. Just trying to get all the mini marshmallows out. You're going to think to yourself, this isn't going to fit, the bowl's not big enough, I've smashed it down before, it, it works, trust me. You are going to love this. Some people like to put coconut in theirs, I'm not a huge coconut fan, I've tried it that way, I just kind of thought it was gross, um, I guess you have to love coconut for that. So... I don't add that. Now that the marshmallows <laughs> marshmallows are in there, you just try to get the marshmallows incorporated down in best you can. And this is it. This is all that I do. My sons are older now. They fought over this as kids. Um, I love it. It's so delicious. And there it is. Ambrosia salad in a huge bowl. I always like to take a little sneak peek taste. Mmm. It's so good. But trust me when I tell you, it gets so better when it sits overnight. So, like I said... I wanted to bring you guys on to try to show you because I've been doing lots of stuff. I have a crack in my cheesecake, which is okay. This is a pumpkin cheesecake. I did a deep, ash deep apple pie. I did a cherry pie. Brownies. What else? Ambrosia salad. And an Oreo cookie cream pie. So I just did the coleslaw and this was, I think, one of the last desserts. Got to give it a try. If you do, please leave a comment down below. Um, please subscribe. Turn your, uh, you know, smash your like button. Turn your notification to all so you don't miss a video. I'm trying to put out videos, but I end up starting to cook for Thanksgiving and then I am forget to turn it on. But I'll bring you in tomorrow, maybe and show you some of the dishes that I've made or that I am making. Tonight it's just wrapping up the desserts. Um, let me show you. 
my son is in charge of the turkey and he is salt brining it in the back so it's taken up a lot of room uh, this is the Oreo cream pie that I made for dessert. This is a side dish that I will tell you about hopefully tomorrow. And yeah, I don't have that much room in my Frigidaire. And the weather has changed drastically here. It's very windy and cold. On that note, feel free to give this a try. Like I said, it's three to four cans of mandarin oranges drained. One big can a fruit cocktail drained or two of the smaller cans one can of crushed pineapple all of it gets drained stemless cherries drained and um, a 16 ounce container of a dollop of daisy of uh, the sour cream one bag of mini marshmallows and one container of cool whip I'm gonna put the lid on this get this refrigerated and I will show you what this looks like possibly tomorrow. If not, I'll take plenty of pictures and, um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy your blessings tomorrow and your wonderful food, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks.